Hello and welcome to this look at an applied idea to do with fuel cells where it's usually only one or two marks but there's actually quite a lot of processing and thinking needed to get them. So it's obviously going to be an A or A star section of a question. It's working out the other half equation in a fuel cell. So what that means is they'll give you the overall cell equation and they'll give you one of the two half cells that go together to make that cell equation and you have to work out the other half cell. So let's get into it. Um, I've cropped a section of the redox system um, table that you'd normally get. It's up, this question is obviously part of a larger question, but the section that I'm interested in is where they ask you to work out the unknown half equation. So there are some clues in here um, if you read it carefully. So I'll take you through how to make it work for you. So first of all, it tells you that an alkaline hydrogen oxygen fuel cell is set up. So they give you obviously the oxygen half equation and obviously the fact it's alkaline means that OH minus is going to be involved in both half equations. So your half equation that you want to write will have hydrogen as a reactant. So both halves of your, um, sorry, both half equations rather, must combine together to give this overall cell equation. So bear that in mind as well. And because it tells you the, the negative electrode, that must mean that it proceeds as an oxidation. In other words, if it was written out as a reduction, like you'd find it in a redox system table, it would have the electrons on the left-hand side, but what we'd say is the position of equilibrium would shift to the left. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we can produce. First of all, we know that we're combining two half equations to make an overall um, cell uh, reaction that's provided already. So I've put that at the bottom and I've taken redox system two and put it at the top. So bearing in mind some of the things we've just discussed, I'm going to propose this and take you through why this would work. Okay, firstly, I've got hydrogen on my reactant side, like we said. Secondly, it's proceeding as an oxidation. So it would be a negative electrode half equation. And thirdly, it's set up in such a way that the, the moles of OH- are taken care of. So not only is OH- included, but also it's cancelled out because you don't find OH- in the overall cell reaction. So as always, I start by cancelling out the electrons. Then I cancel the OH- and then finally, looking at the left-hand side of my two equations combined, I've got the hydrogen and the oxygen in the correct mole ratios. That I find them in my overall cell reaction. Now, the only other thing to think about is the water. There are two waters on the right-hand side of my overall cell equation. So what, what do I need to do? Well, obviously, I cancel the waters in the top there, and I cancel the four out and just replace it with a two. So that now gives me my overall cell reaction. So this was the equation that I used, but obviously that can be simplified. And this is what they normally give in the marks in the simplest version. So I've just divided it through by two. So this is what the mark scheme gives a, a, a tick for, and it obviously allows multiples because that's what we had to do to make it work, right, to come up with a multiple. Okay, so hopefully this has been a useful look at some of the tricks you can use to navigate your way through this type of question. Until next time, thanks for listening and see you soon.